good evening. Okay, so we know the drill right now. I don't look at the background because my life's a mess. Basically, I haven't even finished exams yet. I still have my last exam tomorrow. Have I revised? No. Nope. I hope my teacher's not watching this. If you are, I'm sorry. These things happen. My life is falling apart. But you know what? Things are looking up because I'm going on holiday in two days. I am in dire need of a holiday. I've never needed a holiday more in my life than right now. So thank God we are jetting off to Amsterdam. Basically, it's Monday night and I'm not going away till Thursday morning. So you're thinking, why are you starting this vlog so early? Basically, when I go on holiday, I do like a lot of prep before so that when I'm on holiday, I don't have to worry about what it looked like. So we are doing quite a lot in the next two days. I'm getting my lashes in filled. I'm getting my nails done, which is very different for me. You know, I'm not a big fan of acrylics, but I just sort of pushed the boat out. I'm thinking something different, maybe like blue. Okay, who knows? Who cares? And then for the most exciting part, you're not ready because I'm literally like, I'm shaking up the thought of it. I'm so excited. I'm getting hair extensions. Basically, it's because my hair used to be down to my bum hole. I put in a photo. Like, kind of disgusting, but also I need that back in my life. ASAP Rocky. So, I have booked in to get hair extensions. And, like, I'm not going as extreme as my hair used to be. Like, my hair was a bit excessively long. But I just miss it. I just miss it having a long, luscious long. Long hair is one for me. And I try the short hair. It's not even that short, but, like, it's no, it's not happening for me. And also, like, when I'm wearing clothes, I just feel better when I have long hair. Because it can, like, cover me. I haven't really been doing any exercise at all. Like, I literally don't leave my bed. And I eat, like, shit. So, whenever I have long hair, it'll, like, cover me more. So, I can just, like... No one can see how swole I've actually become. Also, I forgot to say I am going on holiday with my boyfriend. <laughs> I know, I know. I never said it before, but I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Stop talking about it because I'm literally going red. Like, you're making me really, really flustered. Like, actually, stop. Don't look at me. Look away. Look away from your screen. So, yeah. <laughs> You'll meet him. Ah! Go away! Go away! I don't need to go away. I literally, like, I'm a little child. Right, I'm, I need to go, I need to go revise. So basically, I woke up now and was like, oh, I'm gonna revise all day today. And then I fell asleep until half two. Half two. And I haven't done anything since. Ah! Stop! Stop making, so you're just stressing me out. No, I'm gonna go. Tigger! Tigger, shut up! Tigger, shut up! Chicky bitch. That's my cat, by the way. I think I might be having a panic attack. Sorry, sorry, calm down, Olivia. Um, that exam went... F it went horribly, to say the least. Oh my God, oh my God, why am I so stupid? Should I just drop out of school? Because at this point, like, I'm literally getting all days in my mom. Because like, that was so silly of me. I don't know, I don't know what was going through my head. <laughs> Right, it's the day of getting extensions. I cannot wait. I don't look at me because I am really pale. I had to scrub off all my tan so that like when I put a tan on tonight, it'll be really nice. But like I just can't even look at myself in the mirror. Like I'm not looking at myself in the viewfinder right now. Like usually I just stare at myself speaking because I can see myself. But like I don't even want to look at it. I just don't because I look like a little naked mole rat, but we'll not talk about it. So these are my nails. They're really, really different for me. Like I never get anything except nudes. So I was a wee bit scared, but I feel like it'll look really nice with tan again. I need a bath in Bondi Sands, and that's just how it has to be. So I'll just give you a quick before. This is before. Dead as fuck. Like what is going on there? I look like I belong in the Cullen family. Do you know what I mean? Like I could be a vampire. I don't have to be a vampire. I've been obsessed with Robert Pattinson recently. Like if you went through a Google search history, it's like, what kind of restaurants does Robert Pattinson go to? Where is Robert Pattinson? Like I need to stop. I need to reel it in. I'm in the hairdressers now. We did like a quick freshen up on the roots and like oh my god, I just love I just loving blonde. Don't know why I'm from a brown. Now we're gonna start the extensions. Oh my god, I literally just can't wait, I can't wait at all. But oh my god, do you wanna know something that just makes me absolutely cry? My eyes out. He just offered me a tea and like usually I can't have tea because they don't have non-dairy milk and he had almond milk. Like I'm honestly gonna move in here. hairdressers you just saw the after i'm literally obsessed i've never been more obsessed in my entire life he curled it because obviously extensions do look better curled for photos and stuff but i don't know i love it like when i look at it like that i love it but then when i look at my face i'm like curled hair just doesn't suit me i don't know oh my god i love that but then like look at my face my face just ruins it so i'm gonna strain it i think just as well because i'm going to amsterdam so i'm not gonna like bring a curling one to like maintain the curls in amsterdam so it just makes more sense if i just straighten it i'm also just a boring basic bitch so let me know yeah so absolutely starved my stomach is basically eating itself i haven't eaten in like four hours which is a all-time record for me i'm thinking spinach wild garlic ravioli that is very much adequate <laughs> that is very much adequate. I literally look deathly pale. Like, I'm the same color as that roof. I wanted to tell you, like, what I got and all. So, you know, like, Beauty Works, like, that big hair company. Like, Molly May and all these hair extensions. Like, they're literally amazing. They gifted me this hair. 
You know it's like real human hair? Like I was shocked at that. Like someone else's hair is on my head. But anyway, that was beside the point. They gifted me it. So thank you so much. And then the guy hair by Kieran, he fitted it for me as well. Literally amazing. Had the best time ever. It's just me and him in the salon. We were having the time of our lives. If you're like wanting to get hair like this, you can order it off Beauty Works like on my website and then get someone to fit it for you because you can't just fit it yourself. Like you need to get a professional to fit it. The ones I got, they're 20 inches and like straightened as well because this is it curled. Where does it go to? It's like my rib cage kind of past my big boobs. Big boobs. Um, chow. Anyway, so. But when you straighten it out, it obviously is so much longer. It's like my belly button. Oh, I love it. Shut up, love it. So I got the shades, Scandinavian blonde and ice blonde and I just mixed. Mm. Brain, it's not a thing. Brain not working today. Brain is shut for the day. Like, can you even tell where my real hair is and like where it starts? No, it's amazing. Do you want me to show you like how it like attaches? Can you see that? No, because like you literally can't tell. I think that was my main concern that I was scared that you're gonna be able to see all these big things like holding the extensions on, but like you really can't. You can use my discount code to get money off across the whole website, but I'll link it all down below. The uh, code's Olivia10 in capitals. But yeah, I'm probably off to go eat this pasta. I also still have a pack. I don't want to pack. I don't want to do it. I hate packing. I just get really stressed. Like, I'm feeling stressed now all of a sudden. I think I need to bring about three options for each day. I only have a hand luggage. How is this going to work? Oh my god, look at my wee dog. He needs to go do a wee pee pee. You know, he keeps eating other dogs' poos and like it is revolting. But I still give him little kisses. I don't care. But like literally in the park, sniffs like poop. Don't want. That's my boy. So I'm just dying my eyebrows, so I thought I'd come on and talk to you a wee bit just while I'm dying them, you know? I was in the shower there, and I was, like, thinking to myself, I actually haven't told you anything about, like, me and John, and I'm, like, the nosiest person ever, so that would really, really annoy me. I don't know if it would annoy you, but, like, see, like, when Emma Chamberlain didn't tell me what Ethan doing, and I was like, bitch, this is just rudeness at this point. So, right, yeah, let me tell you about, like, who he is. So, basically, we went to school together, he, like, he's in the year above me, and I hit him literally the whole way through school, I was like, I fucking hate you. Look, I matched my scrunchie to my nails. Mm-hmm, <laughs> fashion -ista. Anyway, back to the story. And like we just we weren't vibing with each other and on like a night out once he made me cry So I still hold that to him and then he left school last year He stayed in Belfast and then one night out like I when was it October. I was like girly pops I didn't say that but I was like girls. I think I fancy him and they were like no Olivia No, you don't like you hit him. I was like, I don't know anymore girls so I walked up to him, I went, you know what, I think I might fancy you. He was loving it, joking, he was like literally scared of me. I was just very drunk and I don't really remember saying it, but like, you know what, at least it was out in the open. And then after that, we just started talking and then literally about two weeks into talking, I was like, holiday time. And then we booked a holiday. So that was a wee bit intense for me. I probably shouldn't have done that, but anyway, you know, swag. And then like, we were not going out. Like he had asked me out and I was fuming. I was mega, mega fuming. Mega, mega fucking fuming. And then I got to like New Year's Day and I just turned on him. I was like, so right, when, when are you going to ask me out? And he was like, uh, uh, you're just boys like fucking boys like uh. i was like you know what it's just someone else asked me out then and then he was like fine i'll ask you out so basically i blackmailed him to ask me out so i love that for me but i hated it because in my videos i had to be like i'm talking to someone but like what does that even mean but now i can say boyfriend but i hate saying boyfriend because it makes me feel funny like i'm actually like squirming like i'm the worst person to talk about it right i do need to go i still have my dad in my eyebrows all but my friends are literally ringing me being like where are you you need to give us a lift so i need to go i'm like considering going on my dressing gown i always want to drive in my pajamas then what have you got in a crash walk with that babe and then when i get home i'm gonna put on my tan and I'm trying this new like tanning routine I saw on Twitter and she used Samaritz so I'm gonna use Samaritz today and just see how it goes it is like three points so I'm thinking how good is this gonna be like if I fuck up my tan for Amsterdam I'll be mega fuming so I guess I'll just speak to you in the morning when I'm leaving for the airport holy poo I, I literally like oh my god I'm so excited see you in the morning what's that lullaby hush little baby don't say a word everything's gonna be all right Stiffin' that a up, up, lip, little lady, I told you, daddy here to hold you through the night. I'm sure you're really, really enjoying that, but I have to leave you. Like, I know you don't want really to leave, but I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, bye, good night, good night. Okay, in this next clip, like, it, you can't really tell what's going on, basically. I had booking up at half six to go to the airport, and, like, I literally, like, I'm not alive. I'm it's not me and also john's there because we, we were leaving so early in the morning like he just slept over but i didn't explain that so he just like popped up out of nowhere i just wasn't in the right state of mind to explain anything that morning i was literally dead inside oh, yeah, anyway. Hobo. what time is it five or seven <gasps> Oh, what are you talking about? Don't. Look how pale you are compared to me. I know. 
They did the best. Right, it's like 10 to 5. What? 10 to 7. I don't know if I'm live, but I literally think I'm still dreaming. But we have to get up live. I'm having like five strokes at once here. Airport check. Look at the phone. Shortly departing for Amsterdam. My name is Emma. I'll be your cabin manager today. Also working in the cabin, we have big airport flex. Okay, right, I have to be quiet because I'm literally standing in the hotel hall, but we're here. And actually, I'm going to do a room tour. Yeah, there's literally nothing to do. Why am I shining? Oh my God, come on. It's like literally so small, so are you ready for this? Okay, so you walk in. And then there's a full length mirror, which I can kind of get behind. And then a bed. And then that's just pretty much it. Like there's not much, but there is a wee bathroom as well. Like it's not too, it's not too bad. And it's in a really, really nice area. So we're gonna go out for lunch. And then there is Brandy Melville here. So I'm gonna go spend all my money there. And then we're gonna get ready. And then we're gonna go out for dinner and drinks. And our friends are here as well. Like they literally got the same flight as us. So appointment them for drinks tonight. Oh my God, I'm going to this place called Vegan Junk Food Bar. And I'm so excited. So I'll show you what I got for lunch. I am starved. Even though I did get a Mezzo box on EasyJet. If you're ever on the EasyJet flight, get the Mezzo box. Cause it's honestly sensational. <laughs> So we are back home now and I'm absolutely exhausted because this is by far OW! Shut up! Because this is by far the most active I have probably ever been in my life Like you know me, I don't really get out of bed And I've been up since what, like 6 this morning? I've ordered myself this coffee And it's a caramel iced oat latte Which is quite different for me So let's do a taste test And then once I drink this coffee and I have a bit more energy I'm going to start my makeup I also put on my Instagram story To like ask me questions and stuff So I actually have something to talk about Because I couldn't really think about anything I wanted to say Oh my god, I went out today with like a full intention Of buying so many clothes And coming back and doing a fashion show I bought one thing, so that's really, really good Is it like... Oh! I said, ooh, I can't take it Ooh. You like it? Yeah. Right, so let's show you some of the questions. What piercings do you have? I've got like the ones in my ears and my nose. And then I used to have a septum. I was a bit of a golf. I went through a golf phase and I had a septum. And then I had my belly button. And then I took out my belly button recently because it's getting an MRI. I told you all about that. Completely pointless. There was absolutely nothing wrong with me. I was just being a bit dramatic. They made me take out my belly button thing because of the MRI. And then I couldn't get it back in. So when I thought, right, okay, it's going to close over. I don't really care. Like, I wasn't obsessed with it or anything. It doesn't really close over. And I've just got this, like, hole in my tummy. And it's kind of disgusting. And, like, tan gets caught there. Mm, I wouldn't recommend getting a belly button piercing because when you take it out, it just doesn't really look the same. Can you lick your elbow? No. Have you been accepted into the Hype House yet? So I actually haven't been just yet, but I'm thinking I will in the pretty near future. I think I'm gonna go to LA this summer. I know, I know, shut up, Lily, who do you think you are? But I actually, my friend from school is going out to LA with her friends. So they're like literally renting an Airbnb there for a month. So if I went, like I could just stay with them. So like a bit of a fun experience, a bit something new. So I'm going, I'm going to oh. it. And if I do go to LA in summer, I will just camp outside the Hype House until they notice me and ask, Made to come into their bathroom and make TikToks with them. John's a TikToker. He loves TikTok. He hated it at the start, but he's converted. Not a question, but I'm pretty sure he's really smart. I used to be, and I have... Ooh, I really went downhill. But you know what? I got 71% of my physics mock. So if that's not kind of impressive, I don't know what it is. Don't be aggressive. <laughs> Are you gonna stay brown? Yeah, I think. Right, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna switch it up a wee bit and go back brown. And basically, it was actually John that kind of just broke the news to me that I was way uglier with brown hair. <laughs> I would know, like, subconsciously, that I looked so much better with brown hair and I preferred it as well. But because I'd gone brown, I, like, didn't want to accept it. So then I tried to dye it blonde. It kind of went ginger, but now we're back, we're back blonde and I'm never ever going back brown again. Fave flavour crisps. Obviously, Sensations Thai Sweet Chili, except not anymore because, you know, they have milk and then what's the need? So I'd probably go for more of a, like, kettle sea salt balsamic vinegar. I can fuck with them from time to time. It's really nice. I'm sweating, are you? Yeah, it's way, way, way too warm. If you were to travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, would have to be the Maldives after seeing Molly May's vlog with her and Tommy. When are you gonna bring me to the Maldives? No, like not even a reply. So I love that for me. Hey, what's your star sign? Oh, here's a quick story actually. So if I ever talk to someone, like I will be checking their birthday on Facebook and then I'll figure out their star sign from that. And then I'll figure out if our signs are compatible. And I'm a Libra and I definitely am a Libra because I just relate to like everything that like a Libra is. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm very indecisive. Aren't I very indecisive? Sure. <laughs> I look up John's. 
what are you capricorn and it was so incompatible with mine it was like do not go near this person so now i was like this can't, this can't this can't be real so then i looked up the date and basically he's a cusping aquarius and me and aquarius is get on so i actually think he was meant to be an Aquarius and he was premature. I sound like Joe from you, but it's just how it has to be. Like, I am very into my star signs. Would you consider any other surgeries? You know what? At this point, it's like, I'm going to get a boo job. It's pretty inevitable. It's not even like, oh, like, you just have small boobs. It's like, I don't, like, you don't understand. Like, if I was going to line up with boys, it would be hard as hell, which I am. But then I'm like, do I really want to do that? Like, imagine having, like, two big things of plastic in your body. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's for me. John, would you stop stripping in the bathroom? <laughs> no, yes. Our toilet is in the room. Stop. And first thing he does when he gets in is shit. And it stank. It stink. Selfish. <laughs> why, why have you still got your airpods in? He I'm got he got fake airpods for Christmas too. It's a hard life, it really is. Oh, I've got so many outfits. Like, you're going to have to really choose carefully. No, we need to go. I'm starving. <laughs> Playing basketball with the president, dunking on his delegates. Are we thinking dress or trousers? Dress. Really? Yeah. Bit chilly though. No, nah, it'll be fine. It is a roughly zero degrees. It'll be fine. Oh, the stereo. Beats for you, so listen close. <laughs> hey, baby. Got a little surprise for you. Oh, it's so sweet. What is it? <laughs> When did you decide to go vegan? Basically, I was in bed one night and I was very young and I watched this thing called Earthlings. I watched it and then I cried for like two hours and then I went vegan. So watch it and then... Not true. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. You should watch it. Someone said, how do you stay so slim? I'm Hi. actually so bloated at the minute. <laughs> Eleven, please get changed. I don't need this negative energy. <laughs> Okay, so basically I tried on the first dress and we decided we liked it. So we're not even going to bother trying on the second dress because I really don't have time anyway. But this is it. So it's actually my friend Susie. Thank you, Susie. And it's from Urban Outfitters, I think. It's just quite cute. But it's also really inappropriate for the weather. I think it's zero degrees, perhaps. I'm going to have pneumonia by the end of the night. But I'll just get really, really drunk. I do plan on getting really, really drunk, which is probably inappropriate because then tomorrow I'll feel awful. But I feel like when you're on holiday, you don't really get a hangover. Oh, do you want me to show you what I got from Money Level? Like, I literally got one thing, so it's not going to take very long to show you. I feel like you've seen every brandy girl wear it. This is it on. It's it quite cute but i'm not gonna wear this dress but i just wanted to show you it on i really am a big fan girls trip everyone's going past and really say like hats and scarves and big coats and i'm like right so i ordered my like pasta and then like we were obviously gonna have a drink with our dinner and like obviously i don't like anything except for a vodka i was like can i just have a vodka and he's like in no and i was like what and he's like that's a horrible combination like you can't just have like vodka pasta and i was like oh well it's the only drink i like and he was like well i'm italian and i'm not letting it happen so then i had to get a fucking beer but anyway i remember it literally like i'm not salty about it at all does anyone ever do that when you have hip earrings on like hook it on your ear Okay, right, we're home now. We met up with our friends and had like a cocktail, but the cocktail was 15 euros each and like it was sex on the beach and I can get a sex on the beach picture at Spoons for like three pounds. I just couldn't justify it anymore. So we only had one. I think we're just gonna go to bed now. I'm so tired, you don't understand. Speak tomorrow. Okay, so we were gonna go out for breakfast and be really like up and early, but it's like 11 o'clock and we're ordering food to bed, which so nothing's really changed here. Um, Like a strawberry and banana, something smoothie. And what'd you get? Um... Kale sponge. Ew, why would you ever get that? And then I got a vegan class on. Okay, right, we're going ice skating now. Who wants to see my outfit? You do. I'm wearing these, they're from Dolls Kill. And then my oh, one for And then this black jumper. I literally wear this black jumper like every time I leave the house, but who cares? Ice skating check. Yeah, you're actually kind of good. We were back in the hotel. It's like half five. We were literally out all day, but we didn't actually really do much. We just kind of walked around and then I tried to go shopping and yet again, didn't get anything. I had the worst luck with shopping. I'm not really doing much else tonight. I'm really tired. So I think I'm going to order food in. Because I do vegan Domino's here as well. So I'm kind of tempted to get Domino's. We're leaving so early tomorrow morning. But yeah, I'll show you what we get for dinner and then basically it. Like we're literally going home tomorrow morning. We're in the airport. We had to join the juice and this is so good. <laughs> Okay, so yet again, I was too tired to form sentences. I was running on like three hours sleep. It just wasn't happening for me. But yeah, that was the end of the trip. It was quite short, but I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.